My name is Megan McCrory. I'm a research associate professor in the Department of Health Sciences at Boston University. So we were interested in looking at changes in energy portion size, energy density, calcium, and iron in menu items offered in fast food restaurants over the 30-year period from 1986 to 2016. Susan Roberts from Tufts University and I did this work together, and we had done some previous work that show that people who eat more often at restaurants, including fast food restaurants, are, uh, have a higher percentage of body fat than people who eat less often at those kinds of restaurants. So, and we had also done some work where we measured the energy content of restaurant foods and found that they were very high, and sometimes they were even higher than the values that appeared on the menu. So just knowing from other research that in general the portion sizes in the food supply have increased over time, we were interested in specifically looking at the changes over 30 years in the fast food um, items offered. We used uh, sources called the Fast Food Guide in 1986 and 1991 and online sources for 2016. And we grouped uh, the items into entrees, sides, and desserts based on how they appeared in the menu in 2016. Our most important findings were first that the total number of items offered in the three menu categories together increased by 226 percent, which was about 23 items per year. Um, second, we also found that the calories in entrees, sides, and desserts increased significantly, with the largest increase being in desserts, uh, 186 calories, and the next largest increase was in entrees, which was 90 calories. These increases were mainly due to the increase in portion size, which was also significant, uh, but only in entrees and desserts categories. And third, we found that sodium increased significantly in all three menu categories. And finally, we also looked at calcium and iron. We were only able to do that in four of the ten restaurants, but for those nutrients, we found that calcium increased significantly in entrees and desserts, while iron increased significantly in desserts. So our findings are important because we still have a continuing obesity epidemic in the U.S., and uh, many people have associated diseases like heart disease and diabetes, which are some of the top killers in the U.S. People eat out at fast food um, often. For example, on any given day, about 37% of adults eat fast food, while 45% of adults between the ages of 20 and 39 years eat fast food. Given the popularity of fast food, our study offers some insights as to part of the reason for the continuing problem of obesity and related chronic conditions in the U.S. Despite the vast number of choices offered at fast food restaurants, some of which are healthier than others, the calories, portion sizes, and sodium content overall have worsened, that is, they've increased over time, and remain high. For example, one meal with an entree and a side on average will provide 767 calories, or close to 40% of a 2,000 calorie diet. If you add in a caloric beverage, and then the amount could easily increase to 45 or 50% of a 2,000 calorie diet. Uh, perhaps one good side effect is that the calcium and iron have also increased in some of the menu categories, and these nutrients are important for obtaining and maintaining good bone mass and preventing anemia, respectively. However, people should not be eating fast food in order to obtain these two nutrients because there are much better sources of these nutrients, which don't come along with the high calories and sodium that fast food does. Yes, one drawback is that we did not take into account the amount of food that people actually order, which items they order, or how much they consume. Uh, but we do know that variety, high portion size, high um, energy are factors that cause people to eat high calories in meals and perhaps overeat. And if people don't compensate 
for this high calorie intake the rest of the day or exercise it off, they will gain weight. Uh, another thing that we, uh, we weren't able to do was look at calcium and iron in more than four of the restaurants because the data were only available for four of the restaurants. And we also did not examine combination meals, uh, which a lot of people order because combination meals weren't available back in 1986. We really need to find ways to help people eat less when dining at fast food places. Uh, we do know from 2008 to 2015 there have been some changes and that some of the items offered by fast food restaurants are lower in calories. They either reformulated the recipe to make the energy density lower or provide a smaller portion size, uh, but the, the calories are still high overall, so these changes haven't been enough. Um, we would like to see them continue, um, but another thing that restaurants could do is offer smaller portion sizes at proportional pricing so that people will still feel like they're getting a bargain when they order fast food.